Welcome to the Clark County Today Weekly News, your comprehensive source for the top stories shaping our community. We are ready to take you through the latest headlines from across Clark County, Washington. So, let's dive into this week's stories and explore the issues that matter most to you. Escalating Costs of I-5 Bridge Replacement The cost of replacing the Interstate 5 bridge continues to soar, with initial estimates now reaching a staggering $9 billion. Our editor Ken Vance expresses concerns over the lack of fiscal responsibility in the project's planning, advocating for cost-effective solutions that prioritize citizen input. With discussions swirling around potential toll charges and the project's trajectory, the urgency for a transparent dialogue becomes increasingly apparent. Will the project find a balance between necessity and taxpayer burden, or are we headed for a fiscal crisis? Historic Zone Tolling Program in New York City New York City's Metropolitan Transportation Authority makes history with the approval of a groundbreaking zone tolling program. Designed to raise $1 billion annually for transit enhancements, this initiative marks a nationwide first. However, the move sparks fierce opposition and warnings about potential economic repercussions. As Portland considers similar congestion pricing tolls, the debate intensifies over their effectiveness in addressing transportation challenges. How will these decisions impact our region and what lessons can we learn from the experiences of others? Transparency amid school budget cuts. The Evergreen School Board approved significant budget cuts totaling nearly $19 million, raising concerns over transparency amidst community feedback. Despite revisions and efforts to mitigate the impact, questions linger about the decision-making process and the allocation of resources. As neighboring districts face similar challenges, the need for open dialogue and collaborative solutions becomes increasingly critical. How can we ensure that decisions regarding education funding prioritize the needs of students and educators while maintaining transparency and accountability? Weekly poll question on teacher salary increases. Should teacher unions have pushed for large salary increases last fall, knowing significant budget cuts were looming this spring? It's a question that sparks debate and reflection on ClarkCountyToday.com. Cast your vote and share your perspective on this important issue. Plus, don't forget to send a letter to the editor to make your voice heard and contribute to the ongoing conversation. CCRW focuses on emergency preparedness. The Clark County Republican women gathered to discuss emergency preparedness, emphasizing the importance of readiness for potential disasters. With insights from experts and practical tips for the community, attendees were encouraged to prioritize safety and critical asset protection. As we navigate uncertain times, the value of preparedness and resilience cannot be overstated. How can we come together as a community to ensure that we are ready to face any challenge that comes our way? Sports Podcast highlights spring season. In the latest episode of the Clark County Today Sports Podcast, experts delve into the upcoming spring sports season, Major League Baseball updates, and more. From high school championships to professional leagues, there's something for every sports enthusiast to enjoy. Tune in for lively discussions, insightful analysis, and a glimpse into the exciting world of athletics. Plus, Share your suggestions for future podcast topics and join the conversation with fellow sports fans. GoFundMe campaign for boy injured in bicycle accident. A nine-year-old boy faces extensive medical expenses after a tragic bicycle accident involving a school bus. As the community rallies together to support his recovery, a GoFundMe campaign is launched to alleviate the financial burden on his family. Your donations and prayers make a difference in his journey toward healing providing hope and assistance during a challenging time. Let's come together as a community to show our support. Award-winning motocross trophies. Local artists Jenny Armstrong and Luke Evans showcase their talent and dedication as they craft stunning trophies for the Washougal MX National. Their creative vision transforms winning into an art form, capturing the spirit of the motocross community. From intricate designs to personalized touches, Each trophy is a testament to their craftsmanship and passion for their craft. Arrests made in Brush Prairie Woman's Death The Clark County Sheriff's Office makes significant progress in the investigation of Lindy Rummel's tragic passing. As arrests are made in connection with the case, 
details emerge about the circumstances surrounding her death. While the investigation is ongoing, the community seeks answers and justice for Lindy and her loved ones. Ridgefield School District Faces Capacity Challenges Ridgefield School District grapples with capacity and overcrowding issues, prompting concerns over enrollment distribution and facility disparities. Despite efforts to address these challenges, disparities persist, raising questions about future planning and resource allocation. As we strive to provide quality education for all students, it's essential to consider the long-term implications of our decisions and prioritize equitable access to educational opportunities. How can we work together to ensure that every student has the support and resources they need to succeed? That concludes this week's edition of the Clark County Today Weekly News. For more in-depth coverage of these stories and to stay updated on the latest news and events, visit ClarkCountyToday.com. Don't forget to subscribe for future episodes and join the conversation on social media. Thank you for tuning in. And until next time, stay informed, stay engaged, and stay connected with your community.